what you've gone through, being injured two years in a row, what does it mean to you now that you've been playing so well? Um, well, first of all, I just thank God for this opportunity and just all the people who have supported me throughout the throughout my time here, um, coaches, strength staff, training staff, and my family. So um, it's just amazing to see all the hard work coming um, to light, but um, nothing changes really. My work ethic hasn't changed. All the things that I do on a daily and day base, our daily basis, um, hasn't changed. But it's just exciting to finally um, let the world see, really, um, and give like play play for Notre Dame. Really, that's just been my dream, and it hasn't really, it hasn't been, it hasn't come true yet. But uh, so this year is just exciting because it's finally there and it's finally it's finally happening the way I wanted to. How were you able to just stay positive? Through? I can imagine how frustrating that would have been for you during that time, those two years. Uh, faith played a huge, huge part in it. Um, I was definitely down um, numerous times and um, had to rely on faith, um, getting get into the scripture, and just think about um, my purpose and how much I've already had gone through and how much um, I was just going to need, I was just going to have to trust him even more. So that played a huge part. And then, like I said before, my teammates, coaches, training staff, strength staff, they all stood behind me. Um, they knew it was going to be rough, and I believed in them. I believe in my training staff. Um, to this day, I still do rehab and things like that. So um, they were really smart. I trusted them with the ACL, and they got me back fast and healthy. So with the Achilles injury, it was no different. Um, I knew I could trust them, and then Coach Bayless and his staff as well. Um, they built me up stronger and got me back faster. So. It was, it was exciting, and I'm just rolling now. Uh, your, your teammates have been lauding your, your work ethic and the play that you're able to make on the field. How is it that you've become so respected in that locker room, despite not maybe having as much playing time as those guys, too? Uh, well, I'd just say my teammates have seen me do uh, most of the things I'm just doing on Saturdays. They've seen it in practice. So um, it's, it's just exciting that now the, the world and the fans can see it really just because um, I've only been able to practice really in camp my freshman year and then a little a pass for the second or the first week um, my sophomore year. So, um, I mean, it's exciting that they're behind me because um, when I was down, I needed them and they were there for me. So it's good to see that they're still there for me and that they're still pushing me to be better. Um, I haven't, done, I haven't done anything different. It's just um, taking the coaching and taking the techniques that I've been taught since I've been here and just uh, making plays. Yeah. Uh, lastly for me, um, get, getting the game ball, what does something like that mean to you despite what you have been through? Uh, it's exciting just because, um, especially in that, that type of game, that type of atmosphere, it was exciting to get that get the game ball just because that was the like, icing on the cake kind of for that moment and that day. Um, I had not knowing how big that play was, like in the moment, um, it was it was, it was was crazy. And then just to see the teammate, my teammates jump around and after the game and in the locker room, and Coach Kelly present the game ball. I told him after the game, I was like, thank you for just believing in me and just um, even giving me this opportunity to still be on this team and play. Um, so it was, it was great. Um, I thank Coach Kelly just for all he has done for me stand by me and just um, and my teammates respecting me.